Hi, this is Sheldon Dingwall at NAMM 2017. Uh, we've got a lot of new stuff here, so we'll just take you through it quickly. Um, Lee Slar model, and uh, Lee was just down here. Uh, he's a great guy. He's been uh, instrumental in helping us build the brand and, and uh, just spread the word. Um, lovely guy, if you ever get a chance to meet him, give him a big hug, he'll love it. Uh, Afterburner 1, this has been our most popular configuration. It has a three pickup system. Uh, we have a dark glass preamp in that, which is uh, uh, just a fantastic preamp. It's uh, bass, low mid, and high mid, which is which is unique in the bass world as far as I know. And when you roll down that, that high mid, it's like the sweetest passive uh, treble control you've ever heard, but it still has a little bit of clarity on the top end. It's really sweet. Uh, an ABZ. Uh, satin open grain satin finish again the three pickup combination and a dark glass preamp uh, this is something a little different it's the same pickup configuration but in a Z series and uh, we wanted to try something a little different so on this one we took a flame maple top and did a transparent white burst on it which is kind of sacrilege as far as flame maple goes but um, I really like the look it's got a nice subtleness to it and in this case we uh, we did the neck in in uh, satin white as well uh, one of our favorite finishes so far ever is this uh, purple to blue reverse burst. And, um, and this is one that, that uh, it was suggested to us by a customer back in the spring, uh, a different color combination. Uh, and we just liked the look so much that we decided uh, for NAM and for, uh, for special customers, we were going to try and recreate that same kind of look. And, and I think we're going to do more and more uh, this year as we, as we uh, do some more bursts but it's been uh, bleached and dyed and re-bleached, dyed some more. It's, a, it's an intricate finish to do, but in the end, I think the, the extra effort's worth it. Uh, new in the NG2 line, we got a bunch of new stuff. Uh, Mopar Purple, for you Mopar fans out there, uh, you'd, be, you'd know it as Plum Crazy Purple. We're not gonna use that name, we're gonna use Mopar Purple. Um, really nice, deep metallic. Um, Secondly, we uh, injection mold our own shells. So these are our own shells that we use on all of our bases. And the reason we did this is it allows us to get into the six string NG2s in which we're gonna be working on this year. Uh, the second innovation for 2017 that we've been working with Hipshot is we've created uh, a version of their solo saddle uh, that's unique to Dingwall. It's a little, a little smaller, a little more compact and uh, it has these hooks that cover the ball ends, uh, keeps everything nice and protected and in one place. Uh, they've been really, really great to deal with. Hipshot's a fantastic company, and uh, we're really happy with how those saddles turned out. Um, we're introducing swirls now, and it's essentially a black swirl over top of any available color on the NG2s. And, um, uh, we don't have any control over whether it's a tight pattern like this or whether it's a, a wide pattern like that. But as it turns out, half of the people like the tight, half the people like the wide. So, you know, it, we've got something for everybody. Uh, from there, the only change to colors is we've gone to a matte pearl blue instead of a gloss blue. And, um, and I'm really happy with the way the results are. This was something that Adam wanted um, right from the get-go, but it took us a while to figure out how to make these satin solid finishes uh, look really nice, and, and I think we finally cracked that code. Um, moving on to the next thing is the D-Bird. So the D-Bird essentially is, is, is uh, what I imagined the uh, Thunderbird would look like if it was designed by a Lamborghini guy instead of a, uh, a Chrysler guy. And uh, so it's a very highly contoured body. It's got unique um, strap pin positions which allow the base to balance perfectly on a strap. You can jump around with your hands off the base all you want and it'll stay put. It's got a super deep tummy, a super deep tummy cut and that allows the base to hug really nicely into your chest. And even though it's a, a quite a thick base, it feels like a super thin base. And it's uh, really lightweight. Fijian mahogany body, which is a, a, the exact same genus as Honduras mahogany, but it's, it's plentifully available. It's, it's, uh, the forests are managed 
Um, it's not a, a wood that's endangered by any means. Um, then the only other feature that's uh, unique on this base is, again, with the sports car theme, uh, we went with a wooden pickguard to simulate like the, the idea of a wooden dashboard. Um, I'm a bit of a car nut, and so anytime we can squeeze something that's car influenced into our designs, uh, we certainly like to. And I think that's about it.